Uh, speaking of priorities, Amazon's Twitch to cut 500 employees or 35% of staff. The move is designed to stem losses after two rounds of layoffs last year. Twitch is dying. And I mean that in the most violent way possible. It's getting stabbed. It's getting wrecked. It's getting murderfied. It's in a literal biological sense prohibited by the X terms of service. Um, and that is because they are un Oh, I forgot to open the X chat. Speaking of X, let me bring that up real quick and say, hello, zitters. And then uh, now you will show up on screen. Uh, okay, where is the video that I was actually trying to show people? I liked it. Let me check my likes. Here we go. This is the CEO of Twitch, and he's got uh, some pretty choice words for what their platform is like right now. We've implied this before, um, where we say we need to run it sustainably, but you know, I can be, I'll be blunt. We aren't profitable at this point. Amazon has been extremely supportive of Twitch, um, and a big thing for being sustainable over time is ensuring that um, we don't lose money. And that's a big part of my job because that's going to be what makes sure we can be here for a long term. That we've implied this before, um, where we say we need to run it sustainably, but you know, I can be, I'll be blunt, we aren't profitable at this point. Amazon has been extremely supportive of Twitch. Um, and a big thing for being sustainable over. Oh, I already played that. Sorry, it's a very short clip. He said the CEO of Twitch has admitted that Twitch is a terminally unprofitable company, and it's only existing because it's uh, currently supported financially by Amazon. Um, they actually closed down. I don't know if I read this on stream, but I read an article about Twitch closing down their offices in South Korea uh, because the bandwidth and everything in South Korea is actually so expensive that they couldn't afford to host there. And very interesting, they actually tried to peer to peer uh, South Korean Twitch stream so that it would kind of work in a decentralized, uh, federated way, like a like a BitTorrent stream for their streams. And they just couldn't do it. They couldn't find a way to make Twitch profitable in South Korea, so it's been closed in that location. Um, it's very fascinating, and it fills me with glee. Because if you look at all the places on the internet, there is none so big and so walled off to the general public and to free speech as Twitch. Twitch is worse than, I would say, worse than Facebook. It would be worse than any other site that I can think of in terms of how they try to death grip their uh, streamers into conforming to one specific style of content creation uh, and behavior. They they literally have a narc email, a dedicated narc email for their Twitch staff, so that or for their Twitch streamers, so that if you see an affiliate who has tweeted something you don't like or has said something in Discord that's against the Twitch terms of service, you can send that in to their dedicated NARC email for off-site behavior for their streamers and ban them for it. So when you stream on Twitch, you are never not Twitch's bitch, even though I remind you, you are not employed by Twitch. Whenever you stream to these platforms like Rumble or, or Kick or Twitch or YouTube or whatever the fuck, unless you have a contract signed with them, you are not an employee. You are being paid um, on, on a, uh, like a W-2 basis. You're, you're, they can get rid of you for any reason or no reason at all. You have, no, you have zero recourse against them for harming your income, diminishing you, not promoting you in the algorithm, so on and so forth. They have zero obligation to help you or uh, maintain a relationship with you in any way, shape, or form. And then they still want to own your ass 24-7. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you're saying it at, they own your ass. And it's fucking disgusting. It's they, they're they're the birthplace of people like Valish and Hassan and Keffels and all these fucking loser faggots, and they and and they are dying because everyone hates them. That's the beautiful thing is that all these people that they've promoted like Hassan and Keffels, they fucking hate Twitch. They they all hate Twitch. Nobody's like, man, I'm so happy to be a Twitch streamer right now. Like even um, what's his face? Ninja, he tried to jump off to uh, to Microsoft's thing when that happened. He took a big fat contract with them the very second that that shit came up. They didn't want to be on Twitch. None of these people want to be on Twitch. They hate Twitch. <laughs> you can't run a business when people hate you. And Twitch is, takes like 50% of your revenue. They take half your ad rev. They take half your, um, your super chats and shit. 
uh, it's just an awful platform. Every time I look at Twitch, because someone's streaming there for whatever reason, I try to use it. They're, they, oh my God, can I show you this? Hold up, let me try to show you what they do. Okay, I open it, and the first thing I see, oh God, can I show you? Let me. Can I show you this? Can if I pull this up on uh, my own thing? Do you see it? Oh no, it doesn't show up on the. Oh, if you're not signed in and they don't know that you're over eighteen, it doesn't show up. But I'll show you. I'll show you what I see when I open my uh, account. This is just on the front page. Look at this. Look at this. This is just on the front page. This fucking half a bitch with her tits out. And it's just like, I just want to open it and try to show you what the uh, advertising situation is. Um, Dude. Dude. This is crazy. People, people make fun of, uh, of, of Twitch or a kick and this is what's on Twitch. Like I just opened the fucking front page and this is what they're showing me. And if they're wondering why that people hate their fucking platform and don't want to stream on it. Can I, can I, I just want to find a clip of, um, someone playing a game so I can show you what their basis, what their advertising situation is like, because what they do now. Yeah. It's will be. I'm sorry. I'm just clicking on random streams to try and take down is still a picture recovery. of this. Hello? Maybe they only Jeez, do it after a little while or something. Let me try clicking on Ninja. Seems like a good one for... No? I will dominate? Nope. Yeah, I'm not sure what triggers it, but oftentimes what they'll do is they'll shrink the video so that... um. It's like the, the the actual streamer's output is minimized. And then they put like a full, like um, sky, what they call a skyscraper banner ad on the right-hand side. So the, the advertisement for the video content is like baked into the stream so that there's zero way to ad block it. Unless your, your ad blocker was using like video recognition technology to identify ads and then crop it out. You would not be able to, to block these ads. So they're that desperate. They're that desperate for, for money that they are modifying the, the um, actual bit data to include the advertisement directly into them at the, at the expense of the streamer on the platform. And no other platform does this. Kick doesn't do this. Rumble doesn't do this. YouTube doesn't do this. The YouTube is getting desperate and they're putting forced ads and shit into everything. Partner streamers run four minutes of ads every 15. Dude, that's like television. I can't watch television because it's like that. I have I, I I just I have no idea how people are saying this is why people are, are jerking off to, to Clussy and are becoming serial killers and shit because if you're when you're this bombarded with advertisements how do you you can't function you have you know these suits sticking their dick in your eye socket constantly and there's nothing you can do about it my point is that there's a lot of animosity um between the platform and the people on it which is why it's not successful why would you ever 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 want to support people on a platform that fucking hates you that wants to pretend that they own you that uh doesn't have any respect for you doesn't have any respect for your attention doesn't you know doesn't is not invested in your success is going to stalk and harass you for shit that you say off platform it's like what a terrible terrible you know place and by the way uh someone uh, tweeted this at me and i think i bring this up now uh this is uh obs i use obs to stream shout out uh most people do it's like the de facto standard for streaming it's free to download uh, and as a free and open source project it has to solicit funds sometimes if it's really big and it has to pay people for their time to fix you know very complicated low level issues that you might get with a c based project uh but twitch is interestingly one of the sponsors the premier sponsor of the obs project they pay the most money to support the project because obviously twitch streamers um need obs they use obs to stream with twitch so what's the issue Big, you know, it's nice. They're supporting an open source project. Uh, this is the issue. A person this year, um, so, the, so this month, submitted a patch to uh, to Twitch to add Kick as one of the default streaming services. So if you go to your settings on OBS, there's a way to select your service. And if it's one of the recognized services, 
Um, they have more options that are kind of baked into the streaming platform, like for instance, location, or you can just put in your password so it can automatically grab your stream keys for you and do uh, more complex stuff. You can always just set in your RTMP details yourself by copy pasting the, um, the URL and your stream key, uh, which is usually how most people stream. But if it's one of the you know default services that they, they recognize, um, it shows up in the list, so people know about it. First of all, if they use OBS to stream and they're looking to get into streaming and they pick a platform, they see those names uh, first and foremost. But it also uh, provides more granular detail for, for um, streaming. And different streaming platforms have different encoding requirements. And without too much detail, sometimes you have to change your bitrate. You have to change your resolution or you have to change your, your keyframe interval. Uh, there's little settings like that which differ slightly between platforms. And it's a huge pain in the ass to get your your thing set up to stream to a bunch of different places at once. Um, so by baking that into the, the, um, the software, it's actually easier to get started on those platforms because it changes those things for you without you having to configure it yourself. Uh, so uh, somebody submitted Kick. Uh, very easy. Just click the button and then it's merged in and then people can easily uh, stream to kick. However, the project lead, Ferner Tivati, which is definitely a Icelandic person, I would say, because Icelandic people are fucking gay. Uh, he says, thank you for the submission, but kick does not meet our requirements to be accepted. Uh, someone asked, assuming that was kick was just too obscure to be on the list. And I can open this right now, actually, I think. Oh, I can't change it because I am streaming, but I would read you the names of some of the streamers. There's like really obscure shit that's on it. That's uh, like Chinese streamers or whatever. Um, Just Zero says, but other unknown services are supported. Okay. And Fana replies saying, Kick does not meet our requirements because the platform it supports and encourages detestable and vile content and creators. And we, as a project, do not want ourselves associated with with it uh, this accomplishes nothing because as i mentioned you can just put in the stream details yourself and configure just fine or you can use a restreaming service which is what i do if i don't have the band well, usually when i have the bandwidth i just um i use a restreaming a multi-streaming plugin and manually configure it myself so that I, I don't have to pay for a restreaming service but when i have a really shitty bandwidth i'll pay for a restreaming service and they can restream to eight different things at once um so it accomplishes nothing, but it is a virtue signal. And it, it mostly serves one thing, which is trying to keep eyes off of kick. When you're looking at a list of streaming services and you see one that you don't know, it's like, hey, what's kick? It sounds English and it doesn't sound like a weird Chinese thing. Let's check it out. You're like, oh, look, I can do more stuff on kick. And it's not as like porn coded for like teenagers. Uh, this is, I got gambling. I love gamba sessions. Blackjack is my favorite. Shit like that. Uh, you might think, hey, I'll stream here instead because they don't have an off-site behavioral narc email. Maybe that's all it takes. There's no off-site behavioral narc email address. And in fact, this Matt at the Internet guy is verified on Kick. That's pretty based. I like him. Uh, but they tr they're trying to hide it because the beast is afraid. They're paying, I believe, they're paying the OBS people to keep viable competitors in their, their region uh, off their, their stream list. Probably because Amazon itself is suffering. Amazon laying off hundreds in Prime Video Studio in latest cuts. Uh, 500 Twitch workers from the other article, but uh, this one's unspecific. They say hundreds of employees in this Prime Video and Studios business. I know I got... <laughs> I have Amazon Prime um, because I think I'm grandfathered in because I have um, S3. I use S3 for some shit. And... I got this email. Can I find this? Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, give me a second, chat. I'm getting you some hot, fresh content. That I, my favorite kind of content, the one that I found, found myself. I didn't have to scrape it from the site, didn't get into a zitter. I encountered this as a primal hunter, as a savage. A man who who goes out and gets his own content for you. He says, "This was an email I got for changes to Prime." Dear Prime member, we are writing you today about an upcoming change to your Prime Video experience. Starting January 29th, Prime Video movies and TV shows will include limited 
advertisements. This will allow us to continue investing in compelling content and creep, keep increasing that investment over a long period of time. We aim to have meaningfully fewer ads than linear TV and other streaming TV providers. No action is required from you and there is no change to the current price of your Prime membership. We will also offer a new ad free option for an additional $3 per month that you can sign up for here. Prime is a very compelling value. Prime members enjoy a wide range of shopping, savings, and entertainment benefits, including blah, 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 blah. I suck dick. My company's failing because I'm evil and people hate me. Where? 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 Oh, BlackRock isn't giving us ESG money anymore. We have to cut corners and put advertisements everywhere because our customers hate us and want us to fucking die. Where? Chat. Where? Chat. All that animosity we built over the last 20 fucking years isn't paying dividends. Suffer. Suffer. Technology companies that I don't specifically like. Suffer. Based. Based and suffering pill chat. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.